Thank you, John. We've got another big story at 5 o'clock tonight, and this one is still developing. A crane collapse at a construction site in Queens. This happened at Center Boulevard and 46th Street. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan is on the scene with the very latest for us. Jim? Now, this is the cra uh, Diana, the crane operator was trying to pick up a load of lumber, not a particularly heavy load, an absolutely re routine assignment, but workers at the site suddenly heard cable snap. They heard the metal bending, and that crane came crashing down around them. Several workers were buried in rubble, and seven of them were injured. When the crane collapsed, the construction site was filled with workers. It slammed onto the foundation, and debris and equipment went flying. Some of it landed on Marco McFarland's partner. Before I could get them out, it was already a group of guys getting them out. So, but we just didn't move them. You know, you can't move somebody when they hurt. We don't want to hurt them more. So he was in a lot of pain, though. He probably had about four other guys got hurt. Nobody severely hurt. It was just bad because you know the guys were underneath, and you know we run to go help them, but we can't really get them out. You know, and you know they had to have the uh, you know the fire department come to kind of cut them out. Uh, it must have been frustrating for you. A lot of and yeah, your friends. It's really sad. It's really sad. It, you know, you don't you know you never want to have to go through this on the job. Well, residents weren't expecting it either. The area is filled with parents and children walking and playing all around the site. The whole event is dangerous. Everything is just horrible to see like a, a whole crane falling down like that. Oh. It's so scary. The Department of Buildings will investigate to find out what went wrong. The crane is owned by James Loma, the same man who owned the crane that collapsed at 91st and 1st Avenue in Manhattan three years ago. He was acquitted of all charges in that case. Yeah, uh, the Department of Buildings will now investigate this matter and try and figure out why a load of lumber made this massive metal crane collapse today. Reporting live from Long Island City, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.